Hello, friends, and welcome. I'm so glad to see you today. So here on my little corner of the internet, I like to say, ask and you shall receive. Okay, maybe that's the first time I've said that, but either way, I digress. I did ask in a couple recent videos if anyone would be interested in an updated plaza tour, and shockingly, some of you actually said yes. So lace up your walking shoes, friends, because today we're going on a stroll through my current plaza design. And without further ado, let's get on with it. I like to start out my tours from the well in each area, so this one is going to be no different. One thing that I want to mention really quick before we get started is that half of my plaza that I call my little city area is very sectioned off, so it may not be for everybody, but we'll get into that here in a minute. I like to keep my view down to the meadow and beach open, so I chose to use the Dreamlight Fountain here. I think its low profile makes it the perfect focal point to separate the two different areas of my plaza while still keeping the open view that I love. If you're a return visitor to my channel, then you probably already know how much I love this lighted gazebo. And my favorite way to style it lately is to create any kind of a bar area. Here, I styled it as an outdoor coffee area. The space provides a nice area in the plaza for villagers to catch up with old friends or to grab a quick cup of coffee before strolling through town. The next area is my town square, which I have featured as a speed build on my channel. If you're interested in watching that video, I can link it here as well as in the description box below. When I mentioned that the beginning of this tour, that part of my plaza was very closed off, this is exactly what I was referring to. Once you enter the town square, the only exit is the way you came in. Now I know a build like this isn't necessarily for everyone, but it is working very well for me. I really like that Remy's restaurant and Scrooge's shop are steps with any each other and I really like that there's no empty space here for things to spawn and get in my way. Next to the town square, I built a city park. There are two ways to get to this area with the main entrance being off of the well. I also have a speed build of this area up on my channel, which I will also link down below if you would like to watch that for more detail on the area. I chose to use the large Mickey fountain back here and I centered the rest of the build around that. Since I closed off the town square, I knew I was going to need a way to walk around the entire back side of this area or I was going to hate it. So I created an alley. I also wanted to do the alley to give flowers and herbs a place to spawn. And I also thought it would help to create the city like vibe that I was going for, which is why I chose to use the metal mesh fence back here instead of the brick and iron fence that I used throughout the rest of the build. I love the Disney parks, so I created a theme park area on the other side of my plaza. While the theme park idea and build isn't necessarily new for my plaza, it definitely has undergone quite a few changes since the first build to make room for some new items that I've acquired in my game. However, one area that has not changed is the snack bar area. If you've ever been fortunate enough to visit a Disney park, then you'll understand what I mean when I say that when I built this area, I definitely pictured a quick service restaurant area. These next two areas will hopefully be getting additions to them. In the game area, I would really like to add the Wreck-It Ralph arcade games and maybe the skee-ball game that I've seen other players use. But until I get lucky enough to obtain these items, all I can offer my villagers is air hockey. The next area started out as a small park area, but since I added the city park on the other side of the plaza, it's kind of in a transition phase until I decide what exactly I want to do here for sure. But for now, I'm okay with just having some rides. A bit of a brief intermission here. If you like Stitch's little red ship that I used in this area, run to Scrooge and buy as many as you want. It may be intentional, but it could also be a glitch. But right now, they're only one star coin. And better safe than sorry, I like to say. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. I created more alleys behind my theme park to allow access to the meadow and sunlit plateau, but they're boring and the best stuff is just around the corner. I think this may be a bit of an unpopular opinion based on some of the posts that I've seen in various groups on the internet, but I'm a little bit obsessed with Woody's house, so I put it in the center of my build in this area. A photo booth sits next to the carousel for those fun staged shots with friends to remember the day spent riding rides and eating yummy treats. 
I've said it before and I'll say it again. One of my favorite things to do in the parks is to watch shows. Not only do they provide a welcome relief for miles of walking, but they're also super entertaining and fun to watch. The stage obtained from completing Olaf's quests provided the perfect opportunity for me to build a theater area in my plaza. This area also includes a pit for musicians to provide the soundtrack to the performances and an area for cast members to get ready for their moment in the spotlight. Of course, there's plenty Plenty of seating for villagers to take a load off and snacks to refuel. Another thing that has stayed untouched in my plaza is the silhouette drawing station. At Walt Disney World, there are these little stands where you can sit and an artist will draw a silhouette of you. The end result is a beautiful souvenir that can be treasured for years to come and is one of my favorite keepsakes from Disney World. Down the center of my theme park, I built a seating area that is centered around the Celebrating Friendship statue that players can earn in the Centennial Star Path. I also added in some carts where villagers can stop and shop for fun souvenirs and yummy treats. Okay, so while I was recording and editing this video, the funniest thing happened. I had just finished editing the game area of my plaza and had just got done saying that I wanted Scrooge to give me the arcade game and I was still awake when the shop reset. So I ran over to check what Scrooge had for me and lo and behold, the coin operated game was there. I strongly considered refilming that portion of the tour to include the arcade game in my build, but I really thought the story was too funny not to share. So here's what my game area looks like now with the arcade games. And that will conclude the Plaza Tour. I'm so glad that you joined me today. I had so much fun and I hope you did as well. Let me know in the comments below what item tops your Scrooge wish list. Mine was definitely this arcade game, but now that I was able to purchase it, I'm really hoping for the ski ball machine so that I can further expand my arcade area. Until next time, friends, peace out.